Good morning everybody, this is the day when we pick up the brand new Hilux. I've run out to pay for it, the money has left the bank account, and that must be it just over there. I'm very excited to go and see it. Uh, it is completely mine now because yeah, all the money has changed hands. Look at that, brand new, with the roll bar on the back, the optional extra, uh, with my specified rims and also the specified colour. I think it looks very nice indeed. Um, and yeah, it is of course the uh, what they call the double cab, so I always call it a double cab, um, with the reduced load space in the back here. Nice. Okay, so uh, I guess I should go and speak to them before I jump in, so it's probably locked anyway. Yep, it's locked. Uh, so yeah, let's just go and get the documents. I've already sorted out the insurance and tax and all that boring stuff. Ugh. Oh. The queues get longer. It must be 20 minutes I was in there for. Unbelievable. Anyway, I do have the keys. I have a spare key as well. I've got the documents and all the necessary information. Uh, they did offer to uh, show me around it, but I prefer to do it on my own time, to be honest. So, yeah, let's just jump into it. And, um, yeah, it should be quite interesting. So, we have got a live location, Village of Letton. It's a very nice feature. Um, this is the interior, as you can see. And, yeah, it's all uh, very fancy. Yeah, it's very nice modern design. So I'm guessing that's going to change depending on where we are. Right, so let's turn the key. Oh, it's actually a push start button, this one. Very nice. It's got some good acceleration. Yeah, so finally I'm going to be able to go to different places. Very nice to drive, actually. Uh, we're going to be hopefully going on holiday fairly soon. Um, and also, yes, if uh, if we can afford it, we're going to be buying loads of food. <laughs> but I think maybe just for this first trip to the supermarket, we're just going to... Well, maybe a village shop, actually. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get um, just what we need for now. Probably spend 10 to £20, pounds, uh, which isn't a great deal, really. Should be enough food for this week. Yep, that is a very nice vehicle. When we get it back to the farm, we can inspect it. We can really have a good walk around tour. But I've spent a lot of money there. I think it was, it was fairly close to £22,000, but I, I think it's going to pay off buying a new machine, a, a new, uh, new pickup instead of a used one. I know you can have quite a good saving with buying used, but it's not always a good idea. Okay, so... Uh, Let's do a bit of off-roading. After all, it is our new 4x4. Not much off-roading to do unless I drive over the pile of poop. But I don't really want to. <laughs> the first thing you do, go and drive through some manure. Okay, yeah, that is so nice. Right, so let's just jump out. We'll take a quick look at it again. Um, I'm guessing we can uh, lower the tailgate just here. Yep, there we go. And also the hazard warning lights are on. Um, yeah, so we should be able to carry a few things in here. Uh, not a great deal, but if we wanted to just put maybe one round bale in or something, certainly the uh, wall pallet should fit, hopefully. It better do after all this. I have spent quite a bit of money on it. But we do have the trailer as well. Yeah, I think the wall pallet will fit. No problem at all. So it saves taking the tractor and front loader up the road. Uh, it's also going to be faster, I would imagine. Uh, the tractor is fairly slow, but there's the trailer for it. I should probably just hitch it on and make sure it's all going to work. But yeah, so far, very impressed. Um, very nice indeed. So we should probably turn the hazards off. Left indicator, right indicator. And we've got tail lights as well. And of course, we should have brake lights. <laughs> Unless the brake lights are an optional extra. That would be weird. Yep, right, so let's just back up to the uh, trailer very carefully. Should be close enough, I would imagine. Yep, pretty good. Uh, maybe a bit too far. But yeah, that is a good height. The trailer's not tipping back too much. Uh, a slight tilt to the trailer is actually fine because this is designed for machinery anyway. So it's just going to ease the uh, loading process. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just try it out. Let's, um, let's pull forward. And we are going to attempt to put the mower on. Hopefully the mower is going to fit. Should do. But if I just park here, we'll get the ramps out. There we go. 
Um, actually, maybe I should use a tractor. Where's the 135? That would be a great tractor to try out here. Uh, yeah, there it is. Oh yes, of course, I should probably do that first. Let's just, let's just turn the engine off. And we will just go over here and sort out the combine harvest, which needs to be put away. And then, yeah, when we've sorted out the header, I'll attempt to drive the 135 onto the trailer. Which should be fine. It should be able to tow that, no problem at all. Now, this field here does need to be baled. I would say it's a better idea to uh, have it baled before it rains. I would imagine it's much worse to have it rain on the swaths of straw rather than the bales, because, yeah, when they're in a, in a round bale, the uh, water can run off them much better than if it's just in a pile on the ground. Uh, I do need to remove the PTO shaft, actually. So let's just do that first. There we go. And then, very, very carefully, I might have put it a bit too far back, but yes, there we go. It has been detached. Now, we also need to go and get some food. Uh, I do want to have a drive in the new Hilux, but I don't know if we should go before lunch or after lunch. I think probably before, because obviously, uh, if I don't go before lunch, I'm going to struggle to actually have any lunch. Unless I go and pick some wild berries. Because I have actually seen some wild berries growing in the hedges just over there. Um, so yeah, blackberries and stuff. Could be tasty, but not very filling. Um, so yeah, I think probably today I'm going to go get some real food. Although it might be fast food, because I'm very tempted. Um, and then yes, all the other times we can have food which can go in the, uh, the kitchen cupboard. Pantry stuff. So tinned soup and all that kind of uh, easy stuff to cook. Because as you've probably noticed, we don't get much time. I don't get much time to uh, do any cooking. I wish I did, but we, we just don't. We're, we're always very, very busy. Anyway, where should I put the header trailer? I think if the space in here is a good place for it. Okay, there is no space there, but that could be rearranged. I think maybe the IBC shouldn't be there. If I just drop that off, we can... Um, Put the IBC in front of the fertilizer spreader. The cultivator is going to be required fairly soon. Okay, right. So it is uh, it is quite full. So it's pretty heavy for this little tractor. But even so, it should be able to do, uh, should be able to lift these. Uh, it actually, it's yeah, a ton and a half, pretty much. I would say it's quite a bit for it. It doesn't even have front weight. Poor little one three five. It does so much for me. And it's never let us down. I'm not too sure if it needs an oil change. It has been done. I did do it probably three months ago. Three to four months ago. It's had a lot of use, but it hasn't really done a lot of work in the field. So, yeah, it should be fine. I'd say once a year. And, yep, yeah, we can put this header in the shed. Where it's nice and dry. Probably the first time it's even been in a shed like this. It's very lucky. It's a lucky day. The only other issue is the length of it. I don't want to go crashing through the back of the shed. Uh, what have we got about a metre? It's probably going to do it. Yep. There is about a foot, I suppose. But uh, yeah, luckily, overhang here doesn't matter because it's not an area we have to drive through. So that is fine. That is all good. And now we do still have the combine, uh, but I think just before we move that, I'm just going to put this onto here. See how the pickup truck responds to it. There we go. That looks really well suited to that. Very good indeed. It's a bit low at the back, but even so, you should be able to manoeuvre that absolutely no problem at all. In fact, on the uh, trailer, it makes this tractor look minute. So there you go. Viewers of my vlog, uh, we have come a long way in less than a year. We started off with nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I think if it wasn't for Peter Wood, it would have been really tricky to get to where we are today. But yeah, in this time we have bought a farm with a big mortgage but that's kind of understandable. Uh, we've got loads of machinery now, and we have a brand new Toyota Hilux uh, 2.8 litre. So, yeah, I feel like we have succeeded here. We have had some rough times in nine to 10 months, but 
I think really the good times are going to outweigh that. Anyway, let's go and put this combine somewhere. It's not going to fit in the shed, obviously, but hopefully it is going to be able to go somewhere out of the way. Uh, I'll just close the cover. Yep, get it all folded up. Uh, I want to just keep it out of the sheep field if I can do it. It could actually just go on the concrete, on the uh, gravel just over here. Yep, should be fine just here. So there we go. Finished. Uh, yeah, we're finished with that too. Quite a bit of weight for that stand, but it should be fine. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go to the coast. I know of a place which is very nice, nice sea air, and just really spend a few hours there and relax because I have been experiencing some very strange things here and I really just want to get away from it for a little bit. We're going to be back later to, to bail the field, but yes, we just need to, well, I just need to, um, yeah, take a break. And you can come with in my video in this vlog let's go and explore a new location okay so hopefully the sheep are going to be fine we're only going to be a few hours just get some food sit on the beach and stuff I'll shut the gate and the CCTV cameras are rolling so if anything happens it should all be caught on camera okay so yeah at the end of here I think we turn right I haven't been there for a very long time but I reckon I do still know the way. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you when we get there. Well, here we are. A very, very small holiday, which is going to last probably two hours, but I want to make the most of uh, exploring this area if I can do. Looks like there's a good car park there. Uh, sometimes you can park on the seafront where the shops are. It just depends how busy it is. Hopefully it's not going to be too busy today. Um, but yeah, this is where some of the shops are. There is also a fuel station, petrol station, uh, but we're good for fuel. <laughs> we don't need any in our brand new vehicle. Quite rare, actually, to be given a full tank, which is nice. Anyway, yeah, we've got some shops. Um, I might pop into one of those later. But, I, yeah, I think we'll just drive We'll drive the seafront first, drive down here. Because it does get a better view. This is the area where there's quite a few uh, things in the way, trees and rocks. But there's the beach, uh, a very nice beach. And of course, it is a bay. It is a very sandy bay. Oh look, the uh, live location has updated. It works. Hopefully it keeps working. Um, so, yeah, as I said, you can walk here. Uh, but there's nowhere to park. So we might have to park way back where we've just been. And then, I guess that's a little car park. That's probably for the station though. Uh, yeah, and then we'll have to walk all the way to here from parking back there. More shops here though. So I'm going to pop into one, buy some food. I don't know what they've got, but um, yeah, there should be something good. Okay, so yeah, uh, I think we're going out of the village again. I'm going to have to turn around and go and park in the car park. It might be pay and display, unfortunately. But, yep, that's the way it is. Right, I've turned around. And yeah, there should be a few spaces. I think actually it was fairly empty, because we're coming on a weekday, which is good. Friday, not quite as busy as the weekend. Okay, right, so we're almost back where we were before. Uh, obviously, it's much easier to buy food from one of these shops here because it's just so close to where the, the car is going to be. Uh, so, yeah, where, where's the entrance gone? Here it is. It's a very long way from the beach. 
unless you can somehow drop down to the beach from the car park, not too sure. Uh, but yes, here we are. Let's just go and find a good space. Oh, you can. You can walk through just there. Uh, we'll park out of the way. Park just here. Right. Good. So yeah, I think we'll probably leave here around 2 o'clock. Hopefully nobody steals my nice new vehicle. Try and cut through from the beach. Uh, yeah, so... Very sandy. It is usually much busier than this. I'm surprised how quiet it is today. It's good. Unless I just haven't remembered it properly. Maybe it never was quite that busy, but it always felt fairly busy. Anyway, yeah, so if we can find another cut through to the shops, which is going to be somewhere here. That would be good, otherwise I'm going to have to somehow climb the wall. I'm getting really hungry. Really hungry. Ah, uh, yeah, I can climb that, that's good. Okay. Not too much traffic about, which is nice. Which shop shall we go into? I think we'll go into, well, that's a clothes shop by the look of it. Uh, no, that's not for me. Uh, electrical shop by the look of it. Oh, they haven't even got food around here. Is that food? Ah, oh, they might have food. I think we're going to have to walk all the way up, though. Hmm, this isn't the right place for food. Uh, they've probably got something in the uh, petrol station. They've probably got a shop in there. But no, I think I'm going I'm to keep walking up here. I would prefer to be on the beach. I would really prefer to be on the beach. Uh, let's wait for the car to go past. There we go. Yeah, so you can see the shop is just over there. If I just keep walking, we'll um, have a nice stroll, go down to the seafront, and get some food. And then we really do need to get back and do the bailing. It is, like I say, a really, really short... It's not even a holiday. A very, very short day out. Like, a couple of hours out. Right, okay, we're on the seafront. And I didn't pay in display. I don't think I was supposed to. I didn't see any signs for it, so that's good. Uh, unless, of course, I have just completely overlooked it. If I have done, then, uh, yeah, we'll have to get back fairly quickly. Oh, I thought it was my right of way here. Clearly not. You terrible drivers. There's a dog there, look. Um, okay, so uh, I'll pick the right shop. We'll get some food. Oh, after you. Oh, no, you want to play, you? You want to play? Hello. What a friendly little dog. Where's its owner? Probably around the corner. Hmm. Um. Ooh. Pub garden? Maybe. Maybe not. Somebody's own garden. I have found a shop that sells food. Right. So. Um. Yes. It's obviously going to be a good selection. I'm probably going to go with something simple, something easy. Uh, they do a meal deal thing here, which is yeah, you get a drink. Sandwich and some, some uh, chips, which is good. Uh, so I think I'll go for that. Quite expensive at £8, but yep, yeah, that seems good. And I'm going to pick up some vegetables as well. An assortment of vegetables, because that's going to be really handy for cooking at home. That's going to be another £5. And I think... Uh, what else should we get? I would like to get some fish to cook at home, but I, I don't know if it will keep, because I'm going to be sat on the beach for a bit. Mm, I think I'll, I'll keep away from the fish today. And yes, otherwise that is probably all I need. Frozen pizza? Eh, again, it could defrost, but I'll go for it because it is frozen. Okay, so £3. Good. Okay, so yeah, that's cost me a bit of money, but at least that's going to hopefully keep us going for a few days. Now you can buy or you can rent deck chairs down here. I'm not really too interested in that. I can go and sit on a wall. Or in fact, we have some benches available. So I'm going to sit here. I need some food. Nice view. Nice day. Perfect. I think, well, yes, we're going to have to eat the, the meal deal which we got, so uh, let's eat. Mmm. Very good indeed. And then, yeah, soon we'll head back. Mmm, very nice. I've put my litter in the bin. Good. How are we doing for time? It is eight minutes past one. So, yeah, we can... Um, just have a very slow stroll back to the vehicle. Back to the pickup. Somebody in a boat over there. I don't know what they're doing, but they look drunk. Well, it's been very nice. 
I think we're going to have to head back. I've got that field to bail. So, yeah, it's going to be... I think I watch what I'll do is I'll keep those bales in the field. I might even make a stack. Uh, I don't really want them to be taken away just yet. Uh, in case I do need them for something. I would love to get some cows, but I just don't know if we're going to have the space for cows. I guess I could actually transform uh, a section of that grass field around the back of the farm into a cow pasture. But, um, yeah, I want to get rid of the mortgage first, ideally. We've almost got rid of it, which is good. And we're back. And now where did I park? Oh, yes, of course, the best looking vehicle here. Very nice indeed. I didn't part in my wheels straight. But yeah, there's no pain display, I don't think. So yeah, let's just uh, jump back in. And we're going to go home. But that's been a nice break. A very nice break. I'd love to have a bigger break in the future. But yeah, obviously we, we don't really have the time at the moment. Where did I even enter this place? Aha, here, over here. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I'll see you back over at the farm. It's been fun. Okay, so it's now quarter past two. That's good. That leaves us with plenty of time to get this bailing done. And, yeah, the weather is still very nice. It is just the perfect weather to be able to do some bailing. Although it doesn't rain that much around here, except for when we had the flood. I can't believe that. It really doesn't rain that much. And then that one time, it was just non-stop. Anyway, the gate is still shut, which is nice. Nobody's been in, I don't think. Uh, I'll have a quick look around in a minute, but... Yeah, I think it's I think it's all good. I think the uh, the weird goings on is finished. I'm pretty sure that it was uh, Philip Ola just messing around. I have, yeah, like I say, I've told the police about the burnt out tractor again. That he had sort of admitted to doing it. They haven't been back to me, but I am expecting them to drop by probably in the next day or so. And yeah, I think they'll be having some good words with him, some very firm words, and no doubt doing a thorough investigation into uh, why he was doing this, and he'll probably be charged, I guess, if he admits to it. But, yep, that's all in the hands of the police. I hope that he does get charged, because you just don't go around setting people's tractors on fire. Or can you imagine if we got compensation? That would be great. We could buy another tractor. But I think it's fairly unlikely. So I'm going to put this trailer where it came from, which is obviously reversed in. Excuse me, sheep. Yeah, the sheep obviously absolutely love this new shed. The new yard. And we can hitch to the baler, which is just over here. And get it done. Now, I think the sheep are absolutely fine. I don't think they need any more food or water. They're just so easy to look after. Whereas if I did get some cows, it would be a bit more full-on, I would imagine. Quite a bit of work. Now, can we get around the corner? I think I probably should find a new place for the baler. Yeah, that's close. It's, it's not going to quite make it. Okay. Yep, so we've already got some straw in the baler from the previous field. The one just over there. Uh, and I do need to get all these fields cultivated... And we need to get a new crop in. I don't actually know which crop I'm going to put into these fields. But I would imagine it is going to be something along the lines of wheat or barley, I think. I don't know. The only other thing I could do, potentially, is put some uh, maize in and get a contractor to do silage. But I don't know how uh, beneficial that would be to us. It might not be worthwhile. And of course, yeah, for some reason there was some oil seed rape, rape which growing there, which is a bit weird, but I must have had the uh, the old seed in the drill when I put the barley seed in. Right, so yeah, let's just get this field done. It really shouldn't take too long.
Okay, almost finished. The final swath of straw. Hopefully we can get one more bale out of it. Looks like it's going to be close, but we should do. But really, I think we've done pretty well overall. A lot of bales here. If there isn't enough, I think I've missed enough to be able to uh, gather the last amount up. Although that is perfect. Absolutely spot on. Right, so, the bale counter should be working. Yes it is, I have produced 11 bales. So that's pretty good. 11 bales out the field. Okay, so fine, let's just turn the baler off. That'd be a good idea. I'm going to unpark it in the yard, and then I think really that's going to be it for today. And yes, I have put the uh, frozen pizza in the freezer. Along with, well, the fruit and the vegetables have been put into the uh, fridge. Not the freezer. That would be an unwise thing to do. Frozen broccoli? Oh, is that the police? It is the police. The police are here. I wonder what they've got to say. That'd be interesting. Right. I wonder how long they've been here for. PC Peter Plum again. Ah, Dogwin. I've got something interesting to tell you. Oh, yes. Uh, have you spoken to Philip Elder and all that? Is he uh, admitting to what he's done here? Well, that's the interesting thing, you see. I've visited Grizzly Mountain, and I've also checked their books to see who works for them. His name doesn't appear there. I've spoken to everyone who works there, all the workers, and I've never heard of him. The man you speak of doesn't exist. <laughs>